Welcome to Books for Success. Today, we're delving into the wisdom within, The Science of Happily Ever After, by Tai Tashiro. Discover the myths and secrets of, Happily Ever After, and learn to choose your partner mindfully to build a happy and lasting relationship. You'll learn the principal components of love, how media and culture distort reality, what traits to look for in a partner, which partners to avoid, to plan your happily ever after. Subscribe and ring the bell for notifications if you want to keep receiving the knowledge of book summaries about health, wealth, love, psychology, and much more. Don't be shy about dropping your book suggestions for us to summarize. Also, you can use this video as an audiobook summary. Let's grow and succeed together. Love as a science. Have you ever broken up with a partner and firmly declared that you'll choose better next time? Did you keep your word, or was the relationship as unfortunate as the previous one? Life is complicated, especially when it comes to love. Even if you read thousands of books and articles about love, your relationships might still be miserable. But that's not what you think about when meeting this person on the first date. You see how beautiful they look, how nice they smell, or how knowledgeable they are about nutrition. But you rarely think about how compatible you'll be in 10 years. Most couples will have to survive a lengthy process of trial and error before they can see whether they're a perfect match. Yet, you can save yourself from heartbreak or long-term struggle if you redirect your vision and focus on things that matter. How? Follow along and you'll discover how to choose the right person with a clear picture of your desires and the ideal relationship. Craft your fairy tale with mindful choices and actions. Living in a fairy tale or clinging to La La Land, why do we fall in love? A few centuries ago, no one would have racked their brains over this question. The more economically profitable the marriage is, the more desirable the partner becomes. Love was nothing more than a deal. Nowadays, only cultures that still preserve ancient marriage traditions, such as Indian or Pakistani culture, agree to arranged marriages today. But what about the rest? Love is more complex than friendship or one-night stands. It involves both liking and lust. The former comes from childhood and relies on three main elements. Kindness. You must have different virtues, from active listening to buying Christmas presents for your in-laws. Fairness. When expressing love and care, you expect others to reciprocate. It's a tit-for-tat deal in the good and sometimes in the bad sense. Loyalty. Remain faithful to the person no matter what and choose them over anyone else, often called marital vows. Another vital component is lust, which develops during adolescence. Unfortunately, sexual desire cannot hold relationships forever as it reflects our instinct to mate, not to form a union. Although our instincts significantly affect our romantic choices, so do society and culture. For example, Happily Ever After comes from the bedtime stories many of us heard in childhood. The beauty waits for her brave Prince Charming to save her from her troubles until they gallop on the white horse into the sunset. Later, when the hormones surge in our teens, we dream about star-crossed lovers and dramatize the most ordinary things. Many carry this fantasy into adulthood. Ever wondered why Titanic and Twilight set record box office numbers? And the biggest fallacy about them both is that fate and external forces rule people's relationships. They stumble into each other, fall in love, and remain happy until the end of their days. Yet, in reality, life goes on after the credits roll, and that is when the problems begin. When love speaks math. Relationships are like watercolors. Mixing two colors creates an entirely new and original blend. Unfortunately, some people act like oil and water. Many seek their soulmate without knowing what that means. They rarely ponder which vices they can live with and what virtues they cannot live without. While differences can enrich a relationship, irreconcilable contradictions spell trouble. Imagine a truth seeker paired with someone who doesn't think something is wrong with bending the truth. How long can such a relationship last until the first lie or further? Even if they manage to stick together, one will always be waiting for the other to change. Therefore, seek specific qualities in a partner rather than yearning for a perfect person. But be mindful. This is a mathematical equation. The more variables you choose, the fewer options you'll have. If you wish for a person who is athletic, intelligent, hot, under 35, and earning more than look a year, you'll never find them. Instead, focus on the things that truly matter. 
Here are some tips on how to seek a partner intentionally. Imagine your desired partner. Is there something critical about their appearance that you cannot live without? Move on to their background. Does it matter whether they have a high school degree or a PhD? Do they have to be Catholic or Buddhist? Describe their traits. Would it affect your relationship if they are emotionally intelligent, dishonest, or reserved? Is it vital that their income is above average? Focus on three traits for a realistic search that isn't a book character. Additionally, the more specific the characteristics are, the smaller the pool of candidates will be. The dangers of butterflies in your stomach. After a breakup, many might exclaim, how did I miss the signs? While others knowingly nod, saying, you probably saw it coming. But could you really predict your future partner's personality after just a few dates? It's like trying to solve a puzzle without a picture. You see the orange spots but have no idea what they will be. The reason is twofold. Physiological. Butterflies in your stomach can cloud your judgment. Endorphins make your body scream and laugh at the sight of this human trigger. People often cite the absence of that tingle or rising heartbeat to underscore the failure of their marriage. However, those sensations can become dangerous if they persist since butterflies carry endorphins and cortisol, which become toxic if released chronically. Similarly, a racing heart leads to high blood pressure, which is detrimental to health. Psychological, most people showcase their best selves during the initial dating phase. You don't argue about socks or toilet seats on the third date. Sometimes, people learn the true identity of their partner long after their marital vows. However, you can avoid this fate by recognizing key traits early on. Here are the principal categories to consider when starting a relationship with someone. Personality traits. Most inherit such attributes from their parents and home environment. If your date is unsympathetic on the first three dates, he will likely remain so for the next 30 years. Attachment styles. The connection with parents often affects an individual's ability to form and maintain successful relationships. So, if the person grew up in an insecure atmosphere with emotionally distant parents, their attitude will resemble what they learned as a child. Relationship markers. Red flags may appear after you shake hands with your date. Imagine the person constantly interrupting you or talking about themselves 24-7. If you don't want to fight for attention in the future, reject the second date. Think twice and choose wise. The fundamental character traits are the default settings with which you come into this world. You inherit them from your parents. Later on, your upbringing and the examples set by your parents affect you even more. In adolescence, peer pressure and the media may enhance or challenge your traits, but their roots will remain active no matter what. Only in adulthood can a person influence and restrain their adverse reaction. However, self-development requires time and effort, so for many, staying in their default settings is the most comfortable way to live. When choosing a partner, you must either accept their faults or trust they will change. So, you either tolerate or hope. None guarantees happiness. Nonetheless, there is a third option. You choose someone with traits that are vital to you. For instance, if you cannot imagine relationships without support and care, you must understand that the love story with a self-centered and emotionally distant partner will be dramatic and short. Check out these key traits to avoid in a partner. Self-sabotage. Neurotic partners are hard to spot, but you may notice this inclination in stressful situations. They freak out when faced with a challenge or stress. Also, these individuals are reactive and more likely to break up or divorce. Novelty seeking. These personalities rarely hide their nature for long. They look for anything to spark adrenaline or endorphins and hate to be bored. Therefore, a long-lasting relationship may seem like confinement while they want to chase other pretty birds. Selfishness in bed. A common myth says that the more attractive and reckless the partner is, the better they are in bed. This misunderstanding is especially powerful in the media, where a bad guy is always masterful, under the blankets. In reality, nice people may bring much more sexual satisfaction to their partners than the alpha males, or bad girls, depicted in erotica. The happily ever after plan. Fairy tales exist, but not in the form we are used to. Many people think something is wrong with them or their relationships only because the picture on the screen shows a different story. So, the problem starts not because they are incorrect but because their wishes are wrong. So, here's a plan on how to find and build your happily ever after. 1. 
Set your final goal. Your perfect relationships don't need to resemble your friends or 50 shades of gray. So listen to your love radar. Do you want a long-term relationship or want to wander around? Or perhaps you need a break from dating? Remember, the only right timing is yours. So, listen to your instincts, not your parents' demands for grandchildren. 2. Analyze your love life. Think of the last three dates or partners you've had. What unites them all? Why were the relationships unsuccessful? Can you distinguish any patterns? For example, if your last partner has cheated on you, maybe you tend to choose novelty-seeking individuals. 3. Choose those three traits. Now, when you know what you don't want, you may focus on what you do want. You may even select 10 traits you want in a partner and then rate them from the vital to the least significant. However, remember to focus on things that matter. Resources and physical aptitude were critical for our ancestors as their survival depended on them, but not anymore. 4. Act wisely. Break the massive, happily ever after, goal into small attainable steps. If all your unfortunate relationships had a common element, like having sex on the first date or choosing married partners, avoid falling into this trap again. 5. Share your success and ask for support. Family and friends may be beneficial on this journey. So, keep them in the loop. And don't be afraid to ask for advice in a dubious situation. Did you know? According to a Forbes Advisor article from August 2023, 6% of divorced couples get back together and 72% of such couples remain married after reuniting. Conclusion. Love life may be a maze if you don't know where and why you are going, all while turning at the first crossroads. However, it's not all doom and gloom. If you dream about a relationship and not a perfect partner, you have a high chance of connecting with the right person who shares the same goal. Remember, the path to your desired destination starts with a wisely planned direction. Focus on what is vital for you in a relationship and a partner, and let your happily ever after begin. Try this. Create a list of 10 characteristics you would never tolerate in your relationship. Write 10 things you'd love to see and experience with a partner. Analyze what qualities a person must have to offer you these experiences and form a loving relationship. Thanks for being part of our insightful voyage. If our summary piqued your interest, we encourage you to dive into the complete book for a deeper understanding. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more content if you're new here, and share it with others who might find it valuable. Keep on reading, discovering, and advancing until our next adventure.